Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Basil, the White Dragon Masters. I'm here at the banquet of the uh, Legends Awards. I have a very special guest. Uh, very nostalgic for me because I was a kid. I was practically a child when I saw King nice. of the Kickboxers. King of the Kickboxers. Yes, yes. Uh, and when I saw a, another movie, which which I just had forgot which one it was. Shiny, Pain and Blood, Power Within. It was during the time the of cut off. King of the Kickboxers. It yeah. was during that time. Shiny Heat. Or, or New York, No Retreat, No Surrender. That's it. No That's it. No Retreat, No Surrender. That's it. Uh, this is uh, Sensei Michael De Pasquale Jr. Jr. I hope I pronounced yes, it right. Yes, you did. Great. Um, he was in those movies, and my favorite scene was in King of the Kickboxers when he fights Billy Blanks uh, at the beach. Um, sir, please uh, tell us a little bit about what you've been doing since then. Well, you know what? I, I own the ma uh, several magazines for the longest time. Fifteen years I had three different magazines. My last one was Karate International. I'm now producing a new movie myself called The Operative. Go on Facebook, go into The Operative Movie, and you'll see the trailer about an old CIA agent that's retired, his son gets killed, and he is avenging his death. But I've been doing a lot since then. I uh, also started the first martial arts on side with America Online back in 95, 96. I was first one of the first judges in the UFC. Travel, oh, yeah. You yeah. That. Traveling around, doing a lot of seminars. I have schools in Italy. I have schools in Spain. I got schools in pretty much everywhere in the country, wow. which is nice. Uh, I just got back from Virginia. Some of my people there that um, tested them, and then I was in Florida doing a new certification with 10 new black belts at a Taekwondo school. So I got a lot of Taekwondo people, but I got some great people here tonight that are friends of mine. But the Kovaleskis are good people, uh, legends of something he's been doing for a while with Cynthia, who is a very good friend of mine. And um, I AMC Alan Goldberg, which is the biggest event in the country at the Tropicana. I also do my action film academy. I still run that once a year. That's it now. And I run my martial arts university once a year. That's oh, where's that? That's in uh, Fort Lee, the Double Tree Hotel. It's Marshall University. Uh, it's a great event. It's no, right now, it's a more of a luncheon type of thing. It's quite a few people, but I was doing banquets. It's just, I'm just too busy to do a big banquet. So I do a luncheon, which is great anyhow. Right. And then we train all day long. I have around uh, probably at least 40 instructors that are high-end high instructors and about probably 150, 200 black belts that come. Uh, a lot of school owners, and then I have, of course, I have a lot of students. So we end up with about you know, 400 people, and it's uh, something I can do in a day and make tribute. I do a tribute to, it's called the Pioneer Hall of uh, Honors, which pretty much is a tribute to the pioneers. So we tribute them in a video of all the guys that are no longer here, including my father, who was a pioneer himself. So I want to pay tribute not to get those people that I've known all my life that really are no longer here, that built the martial art industry into what it is today in this country. The entertainment industry is one thing, you know, uh, you can be a star, you can, but you gotta appreciate where these guys really started this. I'm, you know, I've been friends with Chuck Norris, Van Dam. I mean, that, that was good. That was gonna go to that. I was gonna go to that question. Uh, what do you think of Sensei Jean Claude Van Dam? Great friend of mine. I did the first interview ever in this country with him when I had back in '86. Yeah. And uh, when he was going from Belgium to California, he had just made No Retreat, No Surrender, the first one. Right. There's about four of them. And um, he had moved there. Um, and just, I've done a million interviews with him. I went to his uh, world premiere of Time Cop. He asked me to be in. Unfortunately, I couldn't because I had just sold my magazine and merged. He asked me to be in the, uh, the movie The Quest as a jiu-jitsu guy, but I couldn't do it because of my commitments. Oh, really? Yeah. The Quest. Really? Yeah. Wow. Quest. But uh, just a super duper guy. Chuck Norris, super duper. Chuck Norris. I mean, I did the first martial art tournament. I literally started it with Joe Pauly, myself, Mitch Barbro, and. Uh, God rest his soul, no longer with him. We started that whole thing with, uh, at his tournament, which is basically the bodybuilding tournament. So a lot of, and a good friend of mine, Robert Groban, Dr. Robert Groban, who's really best friend with Arnold Schwarzenegger is here tonight. He, uh, he's the one that, if you look at the statue in front of the uh, convention center of Arnold, the bronze statue, he's the one who built that statue. He's the one who paid for it. Wow. And let me ask you this. Uh, what style? Because in King of the Kickboxers, you look like a Taekwondo. Style. Yeah, I learned. I learned a lot. 
Godfather with the Kung Fu and the Kung Fu. I went to China, made a movie called China Heat Made. I did a little bit of everything. I was able to do a lot of great kicking. And I owned the Taekwondo school with a guy, actually. I, I learned the Poggies. I mean, but my main thing is Jiu Jitsu. Okay, so, crazy Jiu Jitsu. Right. No, 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 my own, my own. It's my father's Yoshi uh, Sony Jiu Jitsu, which comes from a history of Japan. Although I'm good friends with the Gracies, I'm good friends with a lot of those Brazilian guys. So, uh, never, never a problem with that because I love those guys. Awesome, awesome. Well, uh, King of the Kickboxers, how long did it take you to shoot that scene in the, on the beach? Believe it or not, that took us about 12 hours. Wow, just that one yeah, It really wasn't on a beach. It was a, an area that was in the middle of the woods, like with palm trees, but it looked like a beach. Oh, really? And when they, oh, if you wow. look at the movie, it's kind of interesting stuff. But, you know, they, they had a pipe that went through the tuk-tuk, which is the, the, the little cart that, we, that he, he shoots at and blows up. Oh, the rickshaw. Right. right. But there's a, actually a gas pipe in there that every time we had to stop, we, they turned the gas off. So right. the pipe was always on fire. But we, it was a great fight team. It took us 12 hours to do that. Wow. Well, I hope and pray that I get a chance to work with you, sir. I'm an up-and-coming actor. I'm, I'm, guy I'm, I'm play. Look, hey, take a look. Come to my Action Film Academy. I'm Absolutely. Doing, doing it again in May. Of next year. You got Help it. Help me up. Thank you. Hands